today on the farm we're planting cover crop. We're getting wheat out of the grain bin to put into the tag along and we're going to incorporate it behind that spreader. That dust could be a sign of there being weevils in the wheat. However, we have pulled a sample and checked it and we got about an 88 to 90% germination. So we know the wheat is good. We know it's not ate up with weevils. It's just a little bit dusty. Big D has got started spreading the wheat seed out, so I'm gonna drop this ripper roller and hook to a field cultivator, see if we can get it incorporated in. Before we get started with the cultivator, I got to go over it and I'm going to put some scooters on it. A scooter goes on the end of an S tine. This is an S tine. And as you go across the ground, this will be digging in and flexing a little bit. And it will slowly wear out where this scooter no longer projects further than the S tine. This is a good example of a worn out scooter versus a freshly replaced scooter. So this one has worn down to the end of the S time. And this one's hanging down a good three inches past the S time. So this is what we want. This is what we don't want. We gotta go over it, get all good scooters on here before we hit the field. into the tractor that's spreading the wheat seed out. Big D's using it so he has a, a, a accurate swath so he doesn't overpopulate the seed in some areas and, and have too little in other areas. So I am using the five finger GPS. You just put your hand, five fingers right on the steering wheel, hold on, and look out the windshield. Takes you to the other end of the field. Always works just fine. Only problem is you got to be paying close attention to what's going on uh, this way. So you can't always pay close attention to what's going on behind you, which sometimes can be an issue. If you look behind you too much, your road may get a little crooked out here. And while it's not a big deal because I'm just covering a wheat seed, a crooked road takes more time because I'm, that would mean I am overlapping too much in some areas maybe too little in other areas and so that's a waste of time you want to overlap uniformly which is only about this much all the way across the field to keep it nice and even and only use the amount of fuel we need to use if you're overlapping too much you're making crooked rows you're burning more fuel and you're wasting more money so it's real important that I keep these rows nice and straight concentrate on driving this tractor just right all day long
cutting this wheat in at a slight angle to how it is spread. And the reason I'm doing that is if I run just like the spreader run, the spreader may be putting the seed out a little heavier in the middle than it is out there on the far reaches. And so if I run at an angle, I will blend in any inconsistencies in his spreading pattern. Now there may not be any inconsistencies in the spreading pattern, but just in case there is, I run at a slight angle so I can blend his areas of thicker, potentially thicker seed into areas of potentially thinner seed. The spreader buggy he's on the versatile pulling that Reuben helping me get the stuff covered up out here all said and done we will plant about 114 acres today that's with him spreading most of the day and me covering up and right at the end of the day he gets off the spreader and gets on that Reuben to help get it all covered up because we have to cover up each day everything that he spread we don't leave any wheat seed out here on top of the ground not covered up make it a heavy dew or or a little flash rain or something may come in, make it sprout, but it's not covered up. We don't want that. We want it all inside the ground, nice and covered before it gets any moisture on it so that we can get a good stand of wheat. We're gonna be doing this. I don't think we got any rain forecaster for this week. So we're gonna be doing this all day, every day this week, getting after putting as much wheat in the ground as we can, get these fields covered up with a cover crop. I thank all of you for watching. See you next time.